All right, what's happening guys? My name is Logan with West Desert Wheeler. We made it out to the epic Logandale, Nevada. This place is a little mountain range in the middle of nowhere, Nevada, halfway between like Southern Utah and Las Vegas. And it's just a little, little piece of heaven down here, man. Endless lines out here. And it is a monster area for RC crawling. Like there's full size trails out here. There's sand dunes and stuff. It's amazing. It's this big mountain range. It's really cool. The problem is, there's too many lines. Like I'm out here in the middle of the whole mountain range and I'm just still looking around like, well, what do I want to crawl? Everything looks so fun and good and you just don't have time to do it. So we found ourselves a little canyon here. We're going to try and get from the bottom to the top, see where that leads us and go from there. Let's check it out and hit the rocks. Today we've got my Rock Pirates RC Kraken chassis. This one has the blank skid in it. I also have the Exo Alpinus transmission going to aluminum Vanquish Capra housings. Got like 30% overdrive in that truck. My custom cut and shut uh, Tusk tires, which now J Concepts makes that size. So good on J Concepts. And then we've got Spec RC wheels with the custom Cerakote job. The thing looks fantastic. Paint job by Bonehead RC. It's gonna be a great time. Let's go hit it. Here's a better look at our truck. And then here is the first canyon we're gonna work our way up. Got some awesome boulders down in the bottom of this ravine. And we're gonna try and get all the way up to the top, see if anything can stop us along the way or if we can figure out our way all the way up and over. Now this truck is not necessarily quiet. These are an open transmission. They're not sealed or anything. So unfortunately I can't like add grease to it because I don't want sand to be able to get into my gears. And uh, just become an abrasive putty basically. So I can't do much for the noise on the truck, but it is a good transmission. I like the setup and the outputs on it. It's got good gear reduction. This is geared for straight axles and I've got it on portals. So got lots of gear reduction. Just trying to finesse that rear to allow that front to stay locked in there. I don't want my front to climb anymore. I want it to start pulling up and over the rock. Yeah, I got that weight transfer to work. Now, I had a different wheel and tire set up on this for a while with the Shift RC's 2.2s, and those had brass rings in the front, and I really liked that additional forward weight. Going to the Spec RC 2.2s, I no longer have that additional forward weight, so I don't quite have as much forward weight as I'd like in this truck. Just need to get some different knuckles, I suppose. But that first up and over, technical, fun, and uh, cracking got it done. There we go. This is where the fun starts. But I've got a full day of crawling planned, so we will see how much I get filmed. I brought a ton of cars of all the batteries I have, and I'm sure I won't get through all those, but better to have too much than not enough. So we're going to try and get these fronts to start climbing here. A little too aggressive of a climb, I suppose. That's, that's really tough in here. So maybe we're not going to get that bonus line. We'll, we'll take the right line if possible. These J Concepts Tusks do get good traction, and in the cut and shut size, I do like them. So if you guys are interested, like I mentioned, J Concepts make them in this size now. So hopefully they can keep some tires in stock. We will find out. I doubt it. Which uh, is my real beef with J Concepts is just they cannot keep up with demand. The tires work well, which is what's annoying about not being able to get them. Just lost the line there for a second. Almost had it and I needed a rear steer correction and I didn't get it done in time. Try and use that front sidewall to help us pull up this. Oh, 
Oh, it's damn close. Need to recover the rear. <laughs> just, just not enough traction. Oh, that hurt. Damn, just messed up bad and just about broke my ankle. Holy hell. Too focused on the RC crawling. Well, this canyon is a little bit moist. It has been raining for the past four or five days in this area. But Logandale is a hot area. It's hotter than Las Vegas most of the time. Which in the winter is great. It's good weather. As soon as you get too far offline trying to try something else, these rears fall off and cause you to slide down. Damn, that's, that's a tough spot. Suppose we could try an alternate line. This is the this is the fun of this. It's just going out and solving problem solving, you know. Seeing where we can go and finding a trail, figuring it out. I really like doing this. Especially with 100% new terrain. I don't know any line out here. Crack and figured it out. All right. Big steep walls. Off camber. Up and around. We're basically on the stage two at this point. All right, after a little scouting, I decided that we're going to go up along the left side of this canyon because the bottom of it doesn't really look doable by a lot. Like, it doesn't even look possible. It doesn't look plausible. Let's see if we can get three tires up here secure enough to drag that rear up. Yeah, that was cool. Right on the edge of the big drop. Work our way along here. Well, it looks like we got some options here. Let's that center line looks pretty wild. We can shoot for it. I don't have real high hopes. If we can keep the front right hooked on the shelf, maybe. But it's going to get on some wild angles. Yeah, we're already not looking great. So I guess we could try and keep the front left hooked in there. It's not, not going to work in our favor either. It's a little too steep right here. And then you got to get the truck to turn. It's not quite staying planted. Okay, that line ain't happening. We still want to have some fun though, right? We can't just go bypass everything. Yeah, even this is looking too steep. This is a real steep section. So we'll just take what we can on our first run through this area. Sweet. Gonna get all off camber towards the ledge. Just the right width. And this is a pretty wide truck right now. Got 350 hubs on these spec 22s, and it with the capper axles, it's got a wide stance, no doubt. Let's 
see if we can lose our hitchhiker friend here. There we go. Gonna do a drop. Well, this doesn't look real friendly to dropping. Got our high clearance links, front and rear, angled skid. Use them to our advantage. As ugly as that was, that actually handled it really well. Drag the rear off and we're ready to go again. This is the upper section. This should be really fun. There's some cool, weird formations, man. Logandale has so many cool different rock formations. Tons of little pockets and windows and arches to crawl through. And like just, you'll be wheeling along and you'll find stuff that you couldn't see from the trail. It's just fun to get out and explore because there's just hidden things everywhere, little, little hidden pockets everywhere. Keeps rotating us. I need to be able to turn my rear up. That bush is killing us. Killing us, I say. Okay. Every time I turn the rear, it shifts my front end over. But I think we got the rears turned in time that we weren't so steep that it wouldn't do it. So we've let these rears come up. Come on, bite. Maybe drag them up a little higher. Yep, that was the answer. Sick. To my point, there's a little hidden pocket right here. Are we gonna go up and over or down and through it? I don't know. It's very, very steep and I don't see a great exit strategy here. Started to wheelie, can't quite handle that. So we'll cruise around it, but maybe my sportsman or MOA could get that. It was close. Yeah, and so that little pocket right there, is a window into there. Like I say, Logandale is just super rad. So many cool formations. And those are everywhere. It's not even like, it's really not even that special out here. There's so many of them. Work our skid plate through this. There we go. Found our way through the canyon up out to the top. Now it's time to find another maze to navigate through. Taking a look around, I have been in this canyon before, but I had never crawled that first section of rocks. However, I have crawled through here, which was very fun. So. We're gonna see how the Kraken handles this one. The last time I was in here, I had my Tiger Capra out here. And uh, that was just before I did the build breakdown on my Tiger Capra, so. There are some old references on my channel at this point. I do make references to that car quite a bit. I, it, was, uh, it was a really fun build. It was, the axles that were on the Tiger Capra are on this truck. So this is not the first time these axles have battled through here but an entirely different platform this time with a different transmission, wheels, tires, probably portal knuckles, servos, all of it. I may have briefly mentioned it, but I am running Reef's Smart 1100 servo. No, I'm lying. That's a Smart 900 in the front and a 777 in the rear. The 777 is direct power. So the Hobbywing Fusion that powers the truck, the motor and ESC combo is the Hobbywing Fusion. I'm using the BEC in there to power the Smart 900. And then I'm using the direct power 777 so that I don't have to feed power to two servos from the Hobbywing BEC. Nice. Got to fight through these bushes a bit.
That was probably out here a year and a half to two years ago at this point. Navigating these rocks. Should we go up the left line? Let's see if we can get up and over the left side of this. I'm about to roll though. Okay. All right, come on. There we go. That was a nice transition up. These rocks are quite wet. They don't have the traction the other rocks have had. I can see that top right rock really wants to move. We're gonna bully it out of our way. Nice, that was cool. Our front right's trap down on the bottom. There we go. Recover it. Nice. A little problem solving there. Fighting our way through. Like I say, this transmission being geared for straight axles, going into portals gives us a big gearing advantage so I can push through hard vines like that. Ah uh, yes, and the last time we had the cracking out on video, I had broken the rear portal gear. The following day, I went out and played with the truck again and broke the other side. So we put a set of machined portal gears in the rear. The fronts were already machined because they're overdrive, or no, they're not. So yeah, it's got machined standard gearing front and rear now. I can't remember if they're treel or hot racing. I think they're treel gears. Nice climb there. Made it look smooth and controlled. Just the right width to get that one. Dip that rear a little bit left. Up and out. Really cool formation too. I love that it's drivable and technical and fun. Good stuff. We'll skip over driving through weeds. And we gotta get through this rock pile up here. So I had driven the Capra across this rock pile, so naturally we've gotta find out if the Kraken can do it as well. It was a real challenge in the Capra, but I certainly believe that the Kraken can get it done. And like the rocks may have changed. There's a lot of moss on these rocks right now. Maybe there's less traction now. I don't know, let's, let's make a list of excuses we can make before we even have to make excuses. All right. Just wanna sneak that front tire inside and then on top. Then turn the rears down. Piece of cake. I guess I shouldn't say stuff like that until I'm actually out the top. But there we are, piece of cake. Lovely, that was fun. Let's take a Unnecessary technical drop descent. Look at those portals just giving us all the clearance we could ever need. Gotta get off the leading edge of the skid. We found it. We get the truck rotated though. 
Yes. Badass, that was fun. All right guys, this area was just too cool to pass up. Walking around trying to find the next canyon. to get the rear in and down because the truck won't fit. There we go. Drop down. Check out the cool overhang on that. But this formation is far from done. And sometimes it's just fun to do stuff like this. Like it's there's still some technical crawling in this no doubt but it's just cool to drive through the formations. Yep, definitely put this down as technical because this is not being easy right now. Damn, truck, chill. Moving 40 pound rocks. All right, front driver, do your job and start climbing over stuff. About sick of that. Thank you. Now the front passenger took a day off. This stuff is very powdery and slick, so you lose a lot of traction in these formations because it's breaking away, it's eroding. There we are. Into another arch that's gonna turn into like a little V-crack. We're gonna go around the side here in a second if we can get these rears up. There's not a lot of traction, this is gonna be tricky. because it's steep and no traction. It's close, man. Had the front further in there. Damn, might not be able to get that one. Okay, we'll take a bypass there. Just gonna squeeze through that. Let's get up on the rock and drop in. The reason I went on the rock is to try and get my belly through the V crack through here, because I knew it was gonna be an ugly breakover. I don't even know what we're hung up on. but it was not letting go. Super sick, man. Can't see where I'm going. Hit this last rock pile that does not look easy. Doesn't look like we're gonna fit and be able to get our tires on rocks. All right, with rear steer, you can find a way. See how soft those rocks are? 
it's just not much traction. Struggling and clawing, but I'm making just little bits of progress. Gonna get a good hook here in a second. Rear's trapped in there. Pole truck. We can go out this way, I don't care. Made is made. All right. That was a wild formation. That was way harder than I anticipated. We yet again find ourselves at the bottom of a canyon searching for a line. So, hiked around a little bit, found this area. Let's see if we can get the truck to do it. Always a fun challenge. Especially when it involves my favorite thing, driving through cracks. Now the rocks we're going to start pushing into are loose. So they've probably just broken off the wall and fallen down during rainstorms. And so there's potential things could shift around on us and get weird. Been dealing with that already today, so shouldn't be a real surprise. Lovely. I love these hobby wing fusions, man. Just creep and crawl and really nail the line. We get. We're slipping. We're slipping. Yeah. I'm sorry, we got into a bind and I had to give it a little throttle to push through, and all of a sudden it snapped free. How satisfying is that, man? No reverses, just rear steer, some slow crawling, and we got through. First try. And it wasn't easy. It was a challenge. We just had to pay attention and look at what the truck wanted. So it's definitely not going to go up that pile of rocks. So let's see if we can get it to go up the wall. Not going to be much for traction there. Nice, the tusks found enough. Let's get the rear over and snap it back. Yep. Yep. Crab it across. That was awesome. Hey, I wonder if we can go up. That's what my brain says internally when I see stuff like that. I'm like, oh, I wonder if I can do that. And when I make these videos, people mention that they've learned stuff and I'm great that and happy that people do. But truthfully, it's just, I'm just saying what's going on in my head. That's all this is. Got a big rock we're trying to excavate here. Yeah, I don't know if that helped us at all. Maybe let's try going out on the right. Ah, that's steep. Now we're getting into trouble. Hmm. 
with that rock that has fallen, I don't really see a way at this point. So we'll take the bypass and try and figure out the canyon. It's funny, I just, I'm standing near some plants and unfortunately I'm not great at spotting poison ivy. But in general, the plants in the desert are not friendly. So just keep that in mind. Maybe not, maybe don't want to snuggle up with some nice lush green leafy plants in the middle of a riverbed in the middle of the desert it probably doesn't want you to play with it I need a little something there triple seven perfect yeah I got the steering angle working really well endpoint set well on the reef servos so I got a ton of steering angle uh, we're kind of nose down in the canyon I get all the way to there, and then I can't get the nose out. There, there it goes. We got it, all right. Judging this rock pile, it looks like there's a pretty good amount of water flow that comes through here and dumps all these rocks here. So it's, it's at the bottom of a waterfall feature and I'm looking at it debating whether I think it's possible or not in my head and I'm like it's a solid maybe if the traction is still decent it's a pretty good maybe but if it's a waterfall amount of traction usually they're like polished smooth then my hopes are pretty low so curious to see how this goes but we got to get there first I used to really struggle on the loose riprap stuff. I still do, it's very hard. But I feel like I've definitely gotten better. And rear steer and big tires always help in this kind of stuff. Also good servos. When I used to do this, when I first started, I didn't have many good servos. Do it again. Yeah, that's what I needed. I need the rears to come up and keep the front pinched. Sorry, was my camera angle horrible there for a minute? I apologize. As driving focus increases, camera skills decrease. It's part of the game. And I was, I was paying attention on that one. That was tricky. All oh, that rock on the left is trapping the top of our tire. Come on. Can't quite. Shit, man. We're we're so close. You get the rear down. Yeah, that front driver is just getting locked up on that gray rock. Tells me that gray rock's got some traction, so let's try and use it with the rears. Sick, sick, it climbed it. 
You always got to let your tires spin quite a bit to get the rears to come up, stuff like that, because with the overdrive, your rear is spinning slower, so you just, you have to let the front sit there and dig while those rears slowly pull themselves up. So here is our waterfall feature. It's steep. There's no doubt about it. If the traction's good, we have a shot. If it's not, I don't think it's happening. Wheeling that servo to help keep the suspension planted down low like I need. Should be just enough room to get our belly through. That worked out really well. Gonna take a small reverse to help get those rears lined up a little better. Because when you start pulling the fronts down with overdrive, it puts a serious bind on the car. Now we're going to use our rears and try and allow the car to transfer. We're on two tires there. Oh, we're in trouble. Now we're good. <laughs> oh, shit. Not working that way. Stay on the inside face of that rock. Monster wheelie, this is not ideal. Got her pinch again, but I don't know how I'm going to get it rotated in there. I don't think with that rock up ahead, I don't think I can drive the crack and turn out the top. There's no good spot at the bottom to start pushing up from. So we just drive up into the corner of the crack and see what happens. But this is looking like a probably not. This is looking like a most likely not. And no throttle, we need a new battery. All right, guys, we did a couple things. We changed battery in place because that's always fun to do that so that you don't have to reset your line, or at least personally, I prefer to reset the line if I had to mess with the truck. And then the other major thing I did is I took the rock that was in our way and pulled it out of the canyon. Cause it's, it's not like it was a rock formation that I couldn't get over. It was the fact that it was just a random rock that had come down this and it was in my way. So threw it down the riverbed no harm, no foul. I still don't know if I'll make it, but certainly got better odds now. I really don't like when people stack rocks on obstacles, especially difficult ones that are possible. You just have to drive well. So I, don't, I, I unstacked rocks. Is that like the opposite? Do I get bonus points for unstacking rocks? <laughs> All jokes right there. There we go. And the rear's up, and I like I say, it's at this point it's just will it stick to this rock face? And it's real steep right through here, so not much to hook into. I mean in the corner pocket we're getting traction. I really it's about where I need to get my rears up to. Yeah, we're gonna start swinging the front end over. Front left's in the air. I mean, it 
just need these tires to stick here. There's just enough like little ridges on that back right tire that it could work. There's something blocking my back left tire. where I can't get the left rear to pivot around. And so it's rotating my truck. It's trying to shift the front end left. And I don't want it to do that. stopped by stupid little rocks. Can't even get my truck into position to really find out if it will or not. Because I don't want to go off that ledge under my right rear. And I need to get the front right moved over. That's why. So I'm gonna say this is probably not possible after seeing the truck on it, at least with this rig. So unfortunately, we're gonna say no on that one. Threw the truck up top. There was two points on that wall that really just didn't work. I set the truck on the face of the wall to see if it would go up, if it made it past that point where we rolled. And there's a secondary like, it's, it's hard to call it a ledge, but another short, steeper section that it just, I really doubt that it would have ever gone up that. So we got too many good lines to play on to burn our tires on one steep wall. Even just coming out the top of this waterfall, the riverbed that leads to it has some cool stuff. Like right here, got a big drop off the passenger side. Ooh, just reached across. So now we can drop our rears evenly. I'm not scared about that. Just fun, man, navigating through the challenges. This truck does awesome. It's it's really good. I know the Rock Pirates team guys, a few of them have capper axle krakens doing full custom builds with their Kraken chassis, which is what this is, and I know why. Ah, drop that front right. I'll squeeze it under the ledge then. I have to get the rear to go under as well. Just got it through there. bumper. There it is. Well, awesome guys. I really appreciate you watching to the end. It means a lot. And I can see from comments and videos who watches how far. And a lot of you guys are watching most of the way through. So thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. My name's Logan with West Desert Wheeler. I have links down below where you can find similar items that are on this truck. Those usually are affiliate links, and if you click through there, help support the channel or help support the friends of my channel, like SL3D RC, Rock Pirates RC, you know, the list goes on and on. Sky RC, Hobby Shop in St. George, shout out to Cody. 
So thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Keep the rubber side down.